Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our journey into the Against the Hive uh, campaign where I'm being shredded to parts um, of, by a large swarm of chrysalids. We have no weapon upgrades, no armor upgrades, nothing. And we have at the moment two and a uh, half sized pot sizes in Legendary Iron Man. So it really shows uh, we're nearing the end game and things are not working well for us at the moment. This supply rate here is a chance of the game to sort of fix that. But the Sidetrap Feral Hive means we are fighting against another um, juvenile queen. So I bring in the B team and I figured I will put an, a loadout in that is good enough uh, for a normal fight. Uh, but we're not missing any... Uh, unique items so what I'm going to do is I'll actually keep the bolt caster what I'll actually do is I'll strip down some of the weapons in an attempt uh, to make sure that we're not losing everything if if this goes sideways I want to make sure that we can still recover so a couple of hell weave uh, vests uh, because there will be a lot of chrysalids I would actually like to keep these here. Two more Hellweave uh, vests. Okay, good enough. And... Yeah, that's B tier equipment at the moment, which is fine. All things considered, uh, we could theoretically go to town with what we're having. The reason why I wanted to have kind of uh, these second uh, level items is I'm actually not sure if we're going to make it out. Uh, I would evac if it's necessary, but all of those items are quote unquote losable if, uh, if we cannot make it out. Um, the last time that we fought against uh, the Hive, it was uh, due to sheer luck and determination that we even made it as far, because at the Hive was fighting Advent. No idea if I can pull this off again. Alright, we landed. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Uh, why am I doing this to me? I already know I'm going to regret this. The Feral Hive is vicious. Orders confirmed. On the move. Let's carefully assess what we're up against. It's a non-timed mission, so... Really no point in just rushing too far or too fast. The problem that I'm running into as well is vigilance. The amount of vision range that these guys have is just off the charts. Sector Prime Mindbender. This guy alone is a handful to deal with. Oh, and the hive is already behind you guys. All right, I think the best course of action here is to simply bunker down. Oh, those... Oh, no. Kidding me? Those guys are Advent. If we're fighting the fight here, 
I have the distinct feeling that I'm going to regret losing my concealment. Okay, I tell you what, we're just going on to Max Overwatch. I'll play the safe. We can't move at the moment. And there is a very slim hope that this might turn out okay, but maybe we're going to lose our concealment, in which case we need to fight from here anyways. Oh, another, sure, another pack. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm just standing around. Waiting for y'all to leave. Moving to designated coordinates. Okay. It doesn't look very good. Maybe I'm going to use my uh, scanner in order to figure out where the rest is but boy this is not looking good at all three packs and I haven't even left the starting zone and we have not yet seen the feral hive I will um, hopefully the feral hive is not on advent side which I think would push this mission into unwin unwinnable territory. My, or, or our only chance here is to let the Feral Hive fight against Advent, pit them against each other, and basically wait. Okay, Hayward, you're going to be our scout, our eyes and ears, in this dramatic encounter. So, what's over here? Oh, the hive is there. We could pull it off. Heading there now. Just need to find these. Okay, we just need to make sure that we see both sides so that they can actually fight each other. The biggest problem for us from a dark event perspective is funnily enough the vigilance, which makes it so so difficult to get anywhere near um, Advent because they have detection radi ready that are off the charts, right? All of this here is unfortunately bad terrain. Oh, come on. Don't want to go here. There might be somewhere, uh, someone back there. I might need to start bringing a Reaper. Crazy to think, but... Closing on target position now. Maybe that's the way to go. Just trying to get the sneak peek where these guys are starting to fight the hive. Once that is on, I think we're in a good shape. And I'm sorry for that type of gameplay here almost, but if I engage now, I know how the story is going to end. Spoiler alert, not very good. Okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. Why 
Why are they standing here? This is a shite position for them to be in. Peeking over here. Dangerous. I don't want to take a move into an explore territory if it's not a blue move. Is this here going to be their way of? pincering us and finally moving into us maybe would be the first time that <clears throat> advent is doing such a maneuver headed there now i can very much hear them They must be somewhere here. On Overwatch. Overwatch. Scanning. Eyes on the prize. On Overwatch. Come on, really, it can't be that difficult. And these guys, please turn around. This is where I think the Feral Hive needs to step in finally be detected on overwatch moving to overwatch Harmony covering now i think i, I can't get any closer covering to overwatch we're in the sights well not good <clears throat> we do yeah we already got our hands full with that first pack but of course there is a second one there is always a second pack Five chrysalids. Five chrysalid warriors and a hive queen. Holy. Well, beautiful, beautiful. Let me see, we can only haywire this guy, okay.
trying to figure out yeah this will trigger overwatch but it will be well worth it Teamwork over. I need that heavy mac. Fail safe into Haywire Protocol. Into Takeover. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, we just need to stand our ground here. And deal with the unfolding situation. Shield bearer is a problem, but we have a lot of other problems as well. Um Down there definitely is a big problem. Way too much cover. And the core question is how do we get rid of all of uh, that? This might be even a kill. It is, and a lot of cover removal. Unfortunately, we don't have death from above, which would be super helpful now. The assault is the next biggest problem that we're having. We could get them down. Hmm. Yeah, I think we need to focus on uh, the assaults. Unfortunately, they can dodge. Uh, not good. Down to one hit point. We don't want to cluster up too much either. This could be a kill and a setup, but we're wasting another grenade. But at the moment I need to clear the battlefield as good as I can. Catch. To the best of my abilities and this is it. The Viper is a problem with poison spit. 
definitely is. <clears throat> really minimum damage. I hate to waste it like that. We weren't really lucky on the damage rolls, not at all. We can stun this guy, which is good. So we got both of our actions, which means reload into stun, and we should be okay. Stunning a stun lancer. <laughs> How ironic. Uh, I don't need to uh, reposition. Okay, our Mimic Beacon is holding strong. Unfortunately, so are the stupid shields. In the meantime, over here, a massive fight will break loose. Everybody begins to shred one another. Even the sectopod got hit. Oh wow, yeah, go for the queen. That's a good one. Good, well. The hive is fighting back. And they are going for the sector pod. Well, I couldn't be happier with your target selection. Go for the big guys first. And try to not kill the small ones too fast, because elsewise the hive is taking over. Okay, I'm not envying... I'm not envying Advent for this massive problem that they're in. Listen, all things considered, I mean, it could be worse, right? All right, so what are we going to do here? I think we need to get rid of uh, the flanks and we might need to use the heavy mech as our mimic beacon for now mechic beacon as they say moving over remove cover over here Okay, well, that's the start. Let's make sure that the mech is fit and healthy. A little bit of a repair functionality there. Let's also make sure that this guy here dies first. Shredding. Continuing to shred good crit. I like that. That's a potential kill. Happy now? Yeah, I, yes. Oh, yes, I am very happy now. Oh, I'm absolutely happy. That was a great turn so far. Okay, 
now we need to deal with the Lancer. That's our next target. Heading there now. Flanking it. Making it likely for us to hit it. Oh, and crit it even. Okay, okay. Down to six. That's not good enough to kill it. Yeah, but now it now it is um, in leather range, which is good. We could actually try to hit that striker. That's not a bad suggestion. 50-50, come on, get him down. Shield removed and he's down to half hit points. Okay, good. I think we should be good with our mech, at least for one turn. Guardian moves back. Okay, well, we got one more turn with the mech afterwards. Oh, nice. Oh, 12. The Junile Queen is taking some serious damage. They can keep up that pressure on her. Advent might be in a good position. Not sure who's going to win on this side. I think it's a bit of a coin flip. Not sure either why not every single Advent here is taking shots. It seems as if some of them are not triggered yet. But that's okay. All we need to do is survive on our side and then face the winner of this like Royal Rumble over here. Good. But at least the Rippers are on the enemy side, so they are potential Mimic Beacons as well. It's going reasonably well. Good moving up. Let's take the hit to weaken the mech. That could be a fantastic hit. Question is, do I want to continue with the mech over here? Trying to see, hmm. That heavy is a problem, but so is the lead assault over here. And so is the mind bender. Hmm. I 
like the idea of removing cover and focusing a bit on uh, the heavy. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Noxus moves up. Threats the sky nicely. A protocol over here. And removal of uh, the small ones. Gotta take enemies off uh, the field. Reload and kill this guy. Not too shabby. If you wonder why I want to keep the mech at a little bit lower health is after the next round it's going to be gone uh, no more mech on our side hence we want to make sure that uh, we can kill it rather easy Continuing with a heavy. You can't handle me. We're relatively speaking we safe. To fear. So I think before moving back, getting rid of this guy. Isn't the worst idea. Overwatch. Very good. Actually, one of the best outcomes for us because we're getting another turn, and I could I, I could try to get that mind bender down. Yeah, that is stupid. You shouldn't go for the cocoons, really. Oh wow! Not sure if. Uh, the chrysalis hive queen is immune to burning but that shredding uh, that shredding was helpful Looks like they called in some hmm. that on the other hand oh wow that on the other hand is not helpful at all Good. They're focusing on the sector pod. Oh, they are very much focusing on the sector pod. They're bringing reinforcements. What? 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 
So both sides were just bringing in reinforcements. But it was so bad that the conflict here escalated. Oh, Lord. All right, back. Needed to reload the game. Uh, some of the things were not fully adding up. Uh, and we're back. Very good. Uh, we do have two different factions of chrysalis that are bombarding us. It seems I can't catch a break here. No matter what I do, it's all uh, becoming more and more problematic. Uh, let's move to here. We know there is a chrysalid nearby. Okay, well, that's good. Uh, we're going with blinding protocol. I would want to take these two guys out. How can he dodge? Well, I know how he can dodge, but that sucks big times. Good, moving up over here. Damn it, can't even reposition myself properly. Well, that might change in a second. So the reason why I moved uh, the mech up is this here needs to go. The mech in particular needs to go. We're going to lose control of it after this turn. Why are we so unlucky with the damage? Make this almost down. Okay, in the meantime, on the other side of uh, the map. Chrysalid Infector takes damage and then we kill this guy. Oh yeah! Well this time we're a bit more lucky with the damage. Finally things are starting to go slightly our way. And just when you think that that is the case, the game throws you a curveball. love to molest uh, this uh, mind bender yeah listen I think we got to play it safe point blank in your face he even dodged that one Moving back, we're going to take some damage. He oh, oh, there was another chameleon. Well, look at you. Let's try to get that mind bender. Minimum damage, unfortunately. And 
Yeah, let's move towards safety. Oh, now the sector port wakes up. Alright, congratulations, it only took you like what? 15 turns to find out that you actually had guns? Okay, Advent is fighting back. Not bad, not bad at all. They're finally dealing some damage. But the Sun Lancers are still going for the stupid cocoons. Why would you do that? That's a 20% chance of hitting. I can't move. Four of them coming in. But we're seeing more problems. More money, more problems. In this case, more like more chrysalids, more problems. Lots of shields are finally removed. Chrysalids on the other hand are burning. Oh yeah, well that was a good hit. Ivorias are trying their best and there is a gestation pit. Okay, well At least we can say that this is still a very even fight Dive bomb into a massacring attack Well at least that spawns no more chrysalids Why? Why are we seeing reinforcements from both sides every single turn? And okay, fair enough. Uh, they can have all the reinforcements in the world. Couldn't I, I honestly couldn't care less. But my main question is, why do they spawn with us and not with the enemies? For all I'm concerned is, knock yourself out, reinforce yourself throughout the entire day but by all means leave me alone with it right oh that's a good blinding protocol that guy is burning and that guy might die no, not yet. Okay. It's a cluster F. Lots of rippers. Shredding this guy.
getting rid of uh, the rippers. This might crit and actually kill him. Or it might do the exact opposite, which is just annoy him a little bit more. Need to deal with all of the small rippers. Good reposition over here. I can't use the last grenade, that's too valuable. Not yet. Good, this is the only small ripper that is left. Can't move here. Okay. And let's point blank kill this guy. Oh, come on. Queen is down. Well, the sector port finally found its way and is cleaning up. Not that it wouldn't make a lot of difference for us because. We are not in any position to challenge what's happening over here. But Advent is now going hard at them. Even the gestation pit is going down. Maybe this is more one-sided than I would have given it credit for. Go for the chrysalid. Okay, luckily we are in a pretty solid defensive position here. Catalina actually killed the last one uh, with uh, the with the burning from uh, from her vest which is hilarious guys you're focusing on the wrong enemies well maybe not maybe you're focusing on the right one who knows Well, certainly not the max. They aren't not the biggest problem. I don't feel so good. <sighs> Let's 
moves to here. Emergency 8. Free heal to Synapse. This actually might be a good call. I'm ready. Here I come. I'll think about how to deal with uh, that. We're far enough away so that there is no direct line of fire. To deal with the hunters, the mind bender is also a problem. We have a lot of problems. I could overwatch one more turn. That's unfortunately a miss. Let's try that again. Better hit, okay. That was a much better hit. Reload into a protocol over here, making it difficult to hit them. Could be a solid kill, but the chances of it are rather low. So we're just going to suppress. And end the turn. This gas, uh, gas station pit is down and the sector port is going strong. It is cleaning up. Admin is getting lucky here with a couple of crits. But there are still Hive Warriors around, and as long as there are Hive Warriors around, new gestation pits can happen. As long as no further chrysalids are spawning for us, we should be fine. We do have a problem now. Looks like they called in backup. Oh, yeah, we do have a problem.
Yeah, and we are, we're not even getting to the juicy fight. Why are they focusing the sector sure. port? I think this might be a Mimic Beacon play. Not sure yet, but there are, uh, it's a good chance that we might need to Mimic Beacon this. Moving on target location. Still don't want to waste my last grenade. There are a couple more targets at the same time. What good is a grenade if we if we don't make it to the other targets? Noxus reload and let's try to hit this guy. Works well, he gets a turn. Actually moves up, which is interesting. Not have a stop, right? No, we don't. Get back in there. Good. Hayward gets fully healed. We're down to two mad kids. Hey, to do it. Hey, to do it. Still another hive drone. Yeah, and I wonder, I think we should tank the hive drone and just kill the uh, mind bender here. Okay, well, of course, he finds the angle. Nice little usage of lightning field. Oh, and he shreds it, good. The Hive Warriors are slowly going down. Yeah, the moment that uh, these two fall without gestation pits or something, I think that Edwin is going to win it. <clears throat> yeah, 
they are the heavy favorite now. Just too much damage on their side. I don't know what to say, like, how am I supposed to go through this? There are so many more chameleons out here. We have one more turn with a Mimic Beacon. At least the Gestation bit is coming up. Uh, that was a mistake. He should have tried to kill someone. He should have tried to kill someone. Okay, listen. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to salvage this one. Too many hit points, I need to throw the towel for once. This fight here is a problem. I've given it my all, but I just don't see how we can survive. Focus uh, down maybe one more of these guys and uh, call it a day. hate that stupid um, shield bearer who survived all uh, the way until the very end but then again we also survived Seems 50 50 sniper to the face that's a new one we haven't seen that in a while Good. Well, it was a doozy. <laughs> yeah. At the point when I was leaving, there were still 25 enemies, which is as much as a normal, difficult, very difficult mission would typically have. I, I just don't see how we could uh, handle it. The, the big problem is I don't know how to uh, tweak the mod in a way that it doesn't do that. The Hive mod itself apparently spawns uh, in regular uh, intervals as long as uh, there are chrysalids. But the respawn that we're seeing is so oppressive, so unbelievably out of balance that I just cannot cope with it. We're seeing like what? two waves of double chameleon quadruple uh, infestator coming in right into our faces if if those spawns wouldn't have like continuously happened there would have been a good chance that we actually could push a bit further but with them no way it was just not working Hayward uh, can now shoot twice. I like that. And Noxus made it all the way up there. Oh, he's he's even having twenty points left over. 
Well, that's not bad, isn't it? We'll figure out what you are going to do with it in a second. But I think... I still like uh, that that withering uh, barrage together with danger zone. Suppression ability is now a 33% chance for each target to graze when applied. That's not bad. And that plus that is fabulous. So... Uh, the other option is gain a chance to take a reaction shot uh, for newly activated enemies. The critical hit chance increases based on the number of enemies in range. It's critical hit chance, okay. Or defense, I like the defense actually, that's also not bad, specifically in the type of campaign that we're running. But yeah, Withering Barrage into pin and down because that's a nasty combination if you can pull it off and we got a juvenile queen corpse as a consultation prize it seems could go for school mining I don't know. Is it worth it? 125 supplies and a core. Might as well do it. That way we can uh, get some more intel. And yeah, let's face it. We have just lost this section. Chosen warlock is hard at work for his masters in this area. Well, maybe overall it wasn't too bad because we can now install a new radio relay. Let's think about it. Yeah, we're. I still want technical analysis. So. We're doing that. Good. Reduction in income, that sucks. Sabotage sucks as well. That'll be bad. That is not so bad. Uh, and the third one might be even worse. Um, look, that goes over here. Immediate collection is good. Research time uh, boost isn't bad either. And I think the facility construction speed, 25%, we can uh, live with that being unavailable for now. We have the laboratory and really not much is being built at the moment. Good. Um, hmm. I think Shadow Chamber is the right call here. We wanted to build it anyways. Cost less energy if you build it on a power coil. It's actually super efficient. Starting to clear that one out. Uh, very good. Very good. Freeing up one of our engineers to help down here. And we're still good. Enough uh, money in the bank. And we're getting the Shadow Chamber, which will help us to plan a bit better 
um, knowing which enemies are on each of the missions. We want it next up A new assault, if I'm not mistaken. And we finally got ourselves more meat for the meat uh, grinder. So far it's a tame campaign uh, when it comes to kills, but that might change soon-ish. I like entranced. I don't see anybody else stepping up other than the autopilot. And I think we're in, we'll go for demolition here. Cover removal remained to be a problem for us. This will prove to have been an important breakthrough. Very good. Well, now the Templars, uh, the Templars' pistol at least uh, is going to work better and faster. This best. Let's do the whole autopsies next. Uh, every single one has a chance to trigger a breakthrough and I'm just trying to get breakthroughs really that's why we're taking the small ones good making contact Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity we can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our system. Well, we can. Commander, we have a line on the chosen warlock here. Okay. Well, we're still getting enough income. The income is not the problem. Our problem is lack of breakthroughs, which is something that I have very limited uh, control over. Resistance is counting on us to protect their people. We can't let them down. Our people seem to So what can we do? Uh, we could continue going for the stronghold and get her down. If we want to take out the chosen once and for all, we should move to strike their stronghold. The resistance has found our access point. Dodge ten resistance contact. Ooh, that would be good. Okay, let me, before we um, figure that out, let's see. We could go for him. He hates Reapers. No critical strikes, low profile. She's immune to melee. Okay. Commander, we should make use of the ring facility and deploy our idle soldiers on a covert action with the resistance. I mean, this one here is really good. Ten dodge is almost a no-brainer to take. We need more dodge uh, just to deal with the immense damage that is coming in. In terms of dodge, Uh, Hogbite could uh, use it. If Namri follows him, it's still seven days because they unfortunately are not level two yet with their rewards. We don't want anyone captured, but we can put any soldier on here. Okay, cool. Well, that's fine. My question is do we want to do we want to immediately go for the um, for the stronghold that might be the right play and Hogbite is super instrumental in doing that so I don't want to do that without him How many days until 14 okay 
No, that's that's the other thing that I would want to do. Health and oh, health in six days isn't bad either. So, question: Could we do it without mar um, marksman and lyrical? We could slot in others. We don't need that. I think I can handle. I can handle the warlock. So. If we look at the hit points, I think it's quite clear that our marksman, wrong planet, needs more hit points. So we're actually putting him here, lyrical here, and that's five days. In that time, we can do the warlock, and then Hogbite can uh, get the plus ten dodge. I need to I definitely need to be a bit more strategic in how we're approaching that Anderson and Emery could level up which is good we're going to do that soon but for now we're just going to leave it as is um, those two sonar and sane can increase their bond yeah we're we're going to use the prime team now i want to get rid of the warlock that would also counter the uh, mm, the sabotage that he's doing and it'll give us more uh, mm, beneficial missions in case you have noticed uh, the uh, the templar ones uh, don't have a chance for failure or interruption and the reason why that is is because uh, the chosen is already dead so there's actually quite an incentive of killing the chosen up uh, up front and then using the covert actions um, for more uh, benefits i want to get the prime team uh, to kernel level on all of them and from there on we can uh, we can then run covert actions to just get a few more hit points and stay alive at the moment um, we need the shadow chamber then we would need to research the codex uh, codices and then uh, golden path missions follow but i'm not even sure if we can stay in in the in the game uh, that long we'll figure it out eventually but uh, this is it's not looking good at the moment I can see the enemies have now reached a strength which I was very afraid of and there is only so much I can do about it. Alright, if you want to support the good cause then leave a like and a comment down below and uh, pray for less chrysalids. Thank you and have a good one.